All right, I'm onto the car again. Uh, currently doing uh, crank trigger wheel stuff. So I figured I'd make a video on this. There's not that many videos on this, especially for a small block Chevy, which is kind of odd. Um, but this is what I'm dealing with. So this is the way I had the crank trigger set up previously with the um, with the MSD setup. So these crank trigger wheels have four magnets. You can see one there. There's one here, there, and there. They're 90 degrees apart. And your sensor has this swing bracket here, so it can swing, I don't know, 20 degrees or so. Um, the one issue I was having is with the MSD setup, I had it set to point to one of the magnets at 35 degrees because that was the most timing I ever decided to run. Um, with Fuel Tech, I need to have the crank offset is going to be 50 degrees. And this is the crank set right now at 50 degrees. And as you can see, I have a magnet way up here and a magnet way down here, and I don't have enough adjustment with my uh, sensor. So the good thing is, the way MSD designs these is you have three mounting holes, and they actually drill six of them for you. So this is how I had it mounted before, but you can actually spin this and mount it there. You can mount it here. And you can mount it here and here, which is probably where I'm going to end up mounting it. Actually, let's try it here. So, that, there we go. So now, my crank is still pointing at 50 degrees up on the pointer there. And now I have a magnet directly in front of the sensor with plenty of adjustment here to get it perfect. And that's basically what we're going to have to do. We're going to bolt it back on. You can see it lines up in that hole, lines up in that hole, and lines up up in there. Um, the other thing we can talk about real quick is I'm still using a standard MSD VR sensor. So this is a two-wire sensor, the green and purple. Same type of deal that comes on a regular MSD distributor. The big difference between a VR sensor and a three-wire Hall effect sensor is the VR sensor signal is analog. It's not digital. Basically, a whole sensor has a 5-volt input from the computer. It has a ground, and then it has a signal wire. The way the whole, whole effect sensor works is, you think about like a switch. It's either on, 5 volts, or off, 0 volts. As the magnet passes by a VR, uh, a whole sensor, it goes from 0 volts, shoots directly up to 5 volts, and holds as the magnet is crossing the sensor, and then drops back to 0 volts as the magnet moves away. With a VR sensor, there is no voltage supplied to the sensor. It's only two wires. The way you get a voltage from a VR sensor is from the act of the magnet actually passing by the sensor itself causes a voltage. The voltage initially rises as the magnet approaches. It peaks when the magnet's closest, and then it drops actually negative as the magnet moves away before returning to zero. Um, the only issue you can have with the VR sensor is before, also it's not digital. So the, if you actually look at the signal on like a, uh, oscilloscope, it's not a straight up across and straight back down signal. Um, it rises up and back down almost like a mountain peak. Uh, you can get some noise because again, it's an analog signal. Um, and also by design, the way a VR sensor works is the faster the magnet is crossing the sensor and the closer the magnet is to the sensor the higher the amplitude of the voltage signal that goes back to the computer. So what Fuel Tech told me was they got some voltage settings they want me to input into the ECU. They said they'll actually uh, do it with me connecting to my computer over the web. Uh, and they also don't want this gap to the standard gap from MSD. MSD standard gap is like 60 thousandths or something. They want me to increase this gap up to, I think they said a hundred thousandths, which is going to I guess it helps if you rev the motor higher because you can have some problems with the signal getting too high and dropping out. So we're going to set this uh, to 100 thousandths, get the um, supercharger pulley back on and